In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Color tab in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. Now, the Color tab is located right over here, and you'll notice that you've got a line color, which is your outline, and you've got a fill color, which is the color fill. And right to the left of that, in the bottom corner, you're going to notice that there's another little box. It's called No Fill. So let's just show you how this works. I'm going to click on this image, and I've got an orange color fill, and I've got a blue outline. And you can see right over here, I've got my fill color and I've got my outline color. If I were to click on this image, which only has color fill, you'll see the software will instantly show me that I've got color fill, but I actually don't have an outline. And because I don't have an outline, it's also showing me that I've got sort of a white and gray section over here, and that's telling me that there is absolutely no color at all. It's transparent. If I then had an outline and I would click on this image, you would see that I actually do have an outline color, but you'll see that my color fill is transparent because there's no color in here. It's just a white and gray square. Now if I go back to this image and let's say I want to change the outline color. While the image is selected, I need to click on the line color and I need to send that to the front. And I know it's to the front because I can see all four corners. Now while this is selected and it's to the front, I can then pick any color I want and that will then change it to that outline color. And I'm just going to pick a color that you can see a bit better. If I change my mind and I actually don't want an outline color, all I have to do is while outline is still to the front is click on this little box, the no fill box, and now I have absolutely no outline. If I want to put an outline back, again I can easily just click on any color. If I want to change the color fill, then while my image is selected, I want to click on the fill color and send that to the front so I can see all four corners of this. And the next thing that I need to do is just select the color that I want to use. Now if I actually want to make this a little bit more transparent so that it's see-through, I can go over here to my transparency slider and using this little section over here, I can move it over to the left-hand side. And the more I move it, the more transparent this becomes. And you can see this is transparent because if I place it over another image, you can see the image underneath it. If you change your mind and you don't want this to be transparent anymore, you can just move the slider over here and now you can no longer see through it. If you change your mind and you no longer want color fill, make sure color fill is to the front, your image is selected, and you're going to click on the no fill button and now all you have is an outline. Now let's just say you actually wanted to take different colors and fill it with this. Perhaps you found an image on your computer or in your photographs, on your desktop, or even on the internet. You can easily take any color that you want to use. So the way that that would work is you would click on your color picker and you're going to left click on it once and hold down your left mouse button. And while your left mouse button is down, just move this around. Now as I'm moving it, you can see that there is a little plus sign and right in the center of that plus sign is the color that would be picked. You can also see that the color picker window now shows me the color that I'm over. The whole time I've got my left mouse button down and as you can see wherever I place this in the center of my cross is that color. Now if I wanted to pick a color off of the internet for example, I'm just going to move this out of the way. And let's just say I want to take this nice shade of green. All I need to do is click on my color picker hold down my left mouse button and keep it down and then I can go over here to the color green and I can let go and now I have that color right over here. If I change my mind, maybe I want to pick the nice color blue that's in this button. I'm just going to move it so that I can see the center of the crosshairs and there we have that nice color. And once again, maybe I want to go back over here, take this dark green, click on it and I'm going to just move my screen back. And now that that color is right in the color picker, I can click on the image that I want to fill with that color or maybe outline. I'm going to send color fill to the front and I'm just going to click on that. And now I have the exact same color as the image that was on the page that I saw on the internet. Now another thing that you can do is while your image is selected, instead of just picking the colors that are in your color swatches, you can go over to your color wheel and you can click on any color that you want. 
When you click on a color, you'll also have this triangle. You're going to notice that in your triangle there's this little circle, and that is currently the position of the color shade. Now if you want to change your color shade, just go into the triangle and move to a shade that's lighter. You can hold down your left mouse button and you can just move it around to the different sections. Another thing you can do is you can go over here where it says HSL color wheel and there's a little arrow pointing down. Click on that and you've got a couple more options. You've got your HSL color box. Now with this one you can easily do the same thing I just did, adjust the tint or you can go over here and you can pick some different colors. Maybe you want to brighten this up a bit so you'll move this down and then just basically select the colors that you want. You can also go over here, pull down this tab again, and this time try the HSL sliders. And that one you basically pick a color that you want, and then you can change the darkness of the color, make it lighter, you can change the intensity of this, or you can pick a completely different color that you'd like. You also have this option over here, the RGB sliders. And basically, again, you can just slide these around to completely different colors, so you're kind of mixing them around, getting the shade that you like. And if there is a shade that you like, you should remember the colors that are in your red, this number, and green, and blue, and then just write those down, and next time you can re-enter those same colors just by highlighting them and typing in the color that you want, and then pressing enter on your keyboard. You also have arrows pointing up and down, so you can click on those to get different shades, and then you can go back over here if you like, and you can go to your CMYK sliders, and again you've got a little bit more options so that you can get a completely different look. And finally, if you go all the way over here, you've got your tinting. Tinting will allow you to play around with these different areas or perhaps you just want to move the slider back and forth. If you go back to your color wheel, you're going to notice that under your color swatches you have the word more. If you click on this to select it, you're going to open up your color palette designer. Now there is a separate video showing you how to use the color palette designer, so I'm not going to cover it in this video. You can watch that video to understand the basics. And also over here you've got your blend modes, and I'm not going to go into that either because there is a separate video on blend modes. But one thing I do want to show you is sometimes you come across embellishments that you actually like but you want to change the color of. So for this one for example I'm going to keep it selected. I want to make sure that color fill is to the front and I'm just going to pick any color to change it. And as you can see it's very easy. The color changed instantly. Now sometimes you'll come across images that are black and perhaps you've actually converted them from Photoshop brushes or you've already got them in your digital kits and when you select this and you make sure color fill is to the front. As soon as you click on a color to change it, you're going to notice that this does not change. A really quick way of fixing that is while your image is selected, go to the top of the page and click on Color Using HSL. Once you do that, you can easily color this any color that you want, and then you can use that in your layout. You can also go over here, send outline to the front, and maybe you want to color it red, and then you've got your different options. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.